In this video, we're going to look at Boolean operators in Python. Specifically, we're going to look at the keywords and, not, and, or. And these are keywords that can be used with things that evaluate to a Boolean value, so true or false. And the simplest things that evaluate to true or false are just Boolean variables. So let's look at those with these. I'm going to create two here. Let's have is raining and we'll set that equal to true. And we'll have is windy equals false. Now, supposing you want to stay inside if it's raining and it's also windy, you can combine those two Boolean values with and. So let's write stay inside equals is raining and is windy. And we'll print that out. So print stay inside. And we can cast that to a string from Boolean. So stay inside and take a look at it. What do you think this is going to be? Let's have a look. So I'm going to run this. And it says stay inside false. So and will return a Boolean value, which will only be true if this is true and also this is true. Otherwise it's false. So if we change is windy to true, stay inside becomes true. If either one of these is false, or if they're both false for that matter, then the AND operator will return false. It's pretty intuitive, I think. Now, supposing you want to take a coat if it's raining or if it's windy. So if either one of those are true, you want to take a coat. Now we can combine these using the OR operator. So let's say take coat equals is raining or is windy. Typical weather for Britain. And let's print this out. So I'll actually just copy this and we'll change this to take a coat and I'll put take coat in there. Let's just copy that. Let's take a look. So take a coat is false because they're both false, but if either one of these is true, take a coat will now be true. There. And it's also true if they're both true. So the OR Boolean operator evaluates to true if either one of the conditions that it applies to are true. Now let's take a look at NOT. So what NOT does is it just flips a Boolean value to its opposite. So it flips true to false and it flips false to true. We'll take a look. Let's write here, not windy, not windy. And then here, so the expression that I'm going to pass to str will be not is windy. So it goes in front of the thing that you want it to apply to. And we run this and it says false because it's flipped this true value to false. If this is false, then it will flip it to true. So not windy is true because windy is windy is false. And you can combine these in all kinds of complicated ways. It's best not to go too over the top with it. So let's say that we want to take an umbrella only if it's raining and it's not windy. We could combine them like this. Take umbrella equals is raining and not is windy. And then if we print this out, take umbrella and plus take umbrella. Let's take a look. 
So it says true. Why? Because it is raining and it's not windy. So if it is windy, we don't take an umbrella because it might blow away. Definitely get damaged with a cheap one anyway. And so that's false. If it's windy, let's say it's not windy and it's also not raining, then we don't want an umbrella. We only want an umbrella if it's raining and it's not windy. And there we go. True. So I think all of this is fairly intuitive. You can create really long expressions, you know, like is this and not that or not this and this and so on. And you want to try to avoid doing that. You can always break down Boolean expressions into a simpler series of expressions using Boolean variables. If you do have to create a long expression and it's a bit hard to read, you can put brackets in like we can with arithmetical expressions. So here, for example, we could put brackets around there, but it's such a simple expression. For this one, I wouldn't bother, but you can do. And then it says true. In the next video, I'll give you an exercise with Boolean variables. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and Machine Learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.